guys, welcome to my channel. Today I just want to share my quick video about the ANAT A6 upgrades. This is a stage 1 on this printer that I did. Hopefully I'm gonna do much more. I, I'm still waiting for some parts to receive. So let's begin. The first thing is that I did is this uh, belt tighter for the heat bed or for the eye access. If you want to print this thing, I recommend that you do downscale by 1%, otherwise it's going to be very hard to install. As you can see, I filled all around it to make it fit. Next thing is I changed the belts. Now it's a fiber core belt, like on the ANAT A8. This is a very good belt that I recommend. They're very nice and they're very good quality. The next thing is this frame brace or a front frame brace this thing is, is pretty much uh, must to do if you want to have a nice uh, solid printer this also include the screws the hole for the screws if you decide to uh, to screw this printer on some surface like on the table or something next thing I add the support in middle frame as well as you can see right there and here and on the back of the printer you can see the back frame the back uh, frame brace this upgrade will give you nice stability if you're looking for a higher speed this is a recommended thing to do next I add this belt stands off and now this belt is more parallel before it's like going a little bit up it was not uh, all parallel, now it's much better. Next, on the heat bed, I add this built -X surface, which I highly recommend. Awesome surface and I managed to find only black so this whole printer is now like a stealth, stealth black so all the parts that I print it's pure black like uh, like the frame here we have a uh, dead insulation material This is a cotton sheet, capable of doing 900 degrees, so it's way more than we need. Next, I add this uh, bed adjuster, so now it's much easier to adjust uh, your heat bed. So you, know, you don't need screwdriver anymore, as you can see there is no hole here. The way this thing works is that you have to drill this plate to make this screw go all the way down and then inside here the spring there is a nut and that's a nut with a plastic um, support like a plastic uh, loctite to make sure that this thing doesn't move and then you just roll this thing roll this nut and you can easily adjust your your heat bed that's pretty good next if we if we move on we come to the power supply side I added this power supply cover with a voltage meter. As well on the back, now there is a there is a, there is a plug with a button on, so you can usually switch on and off your printer. Back here. 
I print this LCD cover so now it's looking much more nicely there is no wires there is no nothing inside exposed so this is gonna stop all the dust that will potentially go inside the LCD and on that motherboard so now it's it's inside this enclosure all right and I add this extension cable to SD it's from micro SD to SD so now it's much easier to just take your card off you just take your card off and as well to plug your card in I just use double side tape inside between the frame and this uh, extension so it's nice and uh, and secure moving on this thing is a this button is a pretty basic I mean this is the first thing that you need to print out uh, otherwise your finger may may hurt move on this spool holder I highly recommend awesome thing easy to take it off you don't need any screws I mean this is only holding like this axle you just turn this nut off take it off put the new filament on done now some more thoughts about the changing this uh, plexiglass uh, Z holder I did print those I'm going to show you right now this is the one this is the second so this thing I, I will be installed right here and the second one which include this belt tighter which will come here so this thing is much more solid and and much more stronger and less complicated really than this plexiglass Z holder that you can see right there so I'm looking forward to change this thing as well and the X carriage since is pretty much heavy right now with uh, this uh, direct drive I'm looking forward to change that as well here it is this is a clone from Gearbest but I did purchase this sock from Origel one but I don't know it's gonna fit because this sock is looking a little bit bigger I mean this hot end is a little bit smaller than the original one so I'm not sure that I'm gonna install this I need to figure out the way how I'm gonna fit this thing without uh, worrying that this will maybe fall off but that's the idea so how I'm gonna do it I still don't know but doesn't seem that um, there is uh, so many versions on this S carriage my first plan was uh, only to remove the this extruder uh, um, stepper and just install on that place this but then I'm gonna end up still with this heavy X uh, carriage so I, I need to redesign this thing or I'm gonna maybe uh, take something for Thingverse there is a couple of options like I said but none of them are really looking that useful alright guys that was a quick video about a A6 stage 1 upgrades I'm looking forward to uh, upgrade it even more the first thing uh, that I'm gonna do is install this uh, Z carriage. So um, hopefully I need to find some useful and nice uh, X carriage as well so I can install the E3D V6. I hope that you like the video guys and find it useful. Till next time, take care and bye bye.